you feel the need to give one of your hippie friends a chance to take a look around. Use this totem pole to switch characters. Otherwise, carry on. to my latest kingdom. This is your latest kingdom? It is indeed. It is beautiful, no? I took a vote and it was unanimously agreed upon that I would be the new ruler of this very watering hole. A vote, huh? I suppose it bears mentioning that His Majesty was the only one who voted. Yes, yes, whatever. The point is that now that I am king, I cannot have riffraffs swimming around, bringing down property values, eating people, etc., etc. They also don't seem to be letting anyone else in the water. What? Oh, no, 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 no. It's time for Gloria's bat, and that attitude isn't going to fly. Let's give these guys the boot. Now just press the action button when you want me to lob fruit at these reptile interlopers. Or tourists. Mm. You crack boy, sure are lucky that I'm a vegetarian.
King Julian is pleased. Now, with the successful relocation of the riffraff, I can enjoy a lovely mango. Mmm, that was pretty fine, baby. Well, I am the king, you know. I was talking to the lady. Thank you for the compliment, Modo. There's plenty more where that came from. How about I take you to check out my secret underwater crib? Sure, why not? Lead the way. Now follow me, baby, and stay close. Real close. So soon, I miss you all. Before I take you to my crib, I want to pick up some pearls and make a necklace for the hippo I love the most. Oh, that's very sweet. Hey, how come I can hear you perfectly underwater? Must be because you're so fine, girl. So these pearls, uh, I pick them up myself, but it turns out I'm allergic to clamshells. Could you shuck them out for me, honey buns? Uh, sure. Okay. Some clams might be hidden by those big old boulders. Use a couple tricks to smash them. fine pearls. Now if you pick up that pepper, bust through that barrier, you'll be one step closer to my pad. What do you say, my voluptuous vixen? I say that the gentlemanly thing to do is eat the pepper and bust through the barrier yourself. Oh, you know I would, Cream Puffs, if I weren't allergic to peppers. You've got to be kidding me! Your mama raised you wrong.
Okay, now check this out. We got another boulder to break, but first you need to get the green peppers from the crocs. Let me guess. You do it, but you're allergic to crocs. No, baby. I just like to watch. Ugh. Crocs who's boss. Just know that I am right behind you. And what a nice behind it is. Just gonna lay the peppers out in a row so you can follow the chain to the boulder and know that I will follow you anywhere. out. Hey, I haven't seen you swimming in these parts before. Who are you? Oh, hi. I'm, uh, Gloria. Say, have you guys seen Moto Moto around here? He was right behind me. <laughs> oh, really? He's usually right behind me. Or oh, me. It's his favorite view, you know. Although I don't see what he sees in her skinny booty. Hold on there. Who you calling skinny? Okay. Staying out of this one. Guess I'll see you ladies later. Bye. 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 Gloria, sweet cheeks. I knew you wanted some of this. Some of what? You disappeared on me. Yet here I am. It's your lucky day, baby bottoms. You're gonna get to check out what a smooth operator I am on the high dive. I don't know. You'd have to be pretty smooth to impress me. Watch me, baby. to make me a necklace with those pearls you made me shock.
love watching you go. Welcome to my garden. <laughs> Or what would be a garden if it weren't so dry. Well, have you ever considered trying to water it? Interesting point. Maybe you could help me. A beautiful garden, and all thanks to you. Welcome to Juicy Juicy, a game where you lucky ladies compete for the ultimate prize. Me. Juicy Juicy? That name doesn't make any sense. And did you just call yourself the ultimate prize? Oh, big and smart. Okay, okay. So you've wet my appetite. What do I need to do? Quite simply, my lovely lady. You just need to be the first to collect a number of fruit and look good doing it. Which won't be a problem for you. Now let's get it on. Easy. 
Some fine fruit collecting, baby. Thanks. So when do I get that FaceTime with the ultimate prize? Yeah, soon, baby. Real soon. Moto's just gotta take care of a few things. A little bit of business. You just hold tight and I'll be right back. Tell you what. I'm gonna check this place out of it. And why don't you catch up with me when you're done with this business of yours? Hey, do you like bowling? Well, I've actually never... Great! See if you can beat my score. If you do, you'll get a coin. I'm all about the coins. But where's the ball? You're looking at it. Or you would be if you were me looking at you. Roll at those pins using your tumble move. Okay, well, you might have beaten someone's score, but if You did it! You beat my score! I guess I owe you this. Hey, Glorilicious. Very impressive form out there, and I ain't talking about bowling. Mm. Glad you like it. Hey, whatever happened to that necklace you promised me? Look, I gotta be straight with you. That necklace was for me. The next one I pick up can be yours, though. Okay, there's something about that Moto Moto I don't trust. Besides his smooth talking and good looks, what does Gloria possibly see in him? Perhaps, Railman, you are lovesick for her? Well, yeah, I do feel a little queasy now that you mention it. Then you should tell Miss Gloria about your feelings. If not, you will most likely puke them up. Well, first, I have to get Gloria away from Moto Moto. Hmm. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. And the camera. What if you followed him around and took pictures of his dirty deeds? Me? I can't believe you asked me. How did you know I would take pleasure in doing something like that? Thank you. Be careful not to let him see you. And if he does see you, this conversation never happened. about yours. Moto Moto's got a motor motor. through my dreams all night. Sorry, I have to get back, but I won't forget about yours. Moto Moto's got a motor motor.
a hippo so beautiful they had to name him twice. <laughs> I was wondering if I could borrow some of that sugar. Mm. <laughs> There's just not enough Moto Moto to go around. <laughs> bye bye, my sweet cherry pie. Shake that junk in the trunk, if you know what's good for me. Why don't we pick this up later? some pictures of Moto Moto I think you should see. Oh, Melman, didn't I tell you never to wake me up? Look, it's Moto Moto chatting it up with all these girl hippos while you were asleep. You mean you followed him around and took pictures? Melman, what is wrong with you? Well, I've got a bad case of gal, 23 separate fevers, bubonic... What I mean is, why are you acting like a jealous boyfriend? I'm not. I, I was just looking out for you, Gloria, because, um, you see, I, uh, <laughs> Well, I don't need you looking out for me. I'm a big girl and I can take care of myself. 